Welcome back, everybody. Uh, for those who are paying attention, this is not the safe room we stopped last time. This is the other one. I had to run back there, and I figured I'd just cut that. Yeah, but fear can kill you if you think about it really, really hard. Um... I, maybe, I don't know. As you can see, there's grenades and a spray in this room for some reason, laying on the floor. So is there any notable difference between a uh, herbs and a healing spray? No. A healing spray is basically uh, combined herbs. It gives you all your health back. Ah, and okay. so yeah, um... Barry just left us some supplies in this room. Ah, oh, he's so kind. Yeah, he's very nice. So, when you play with the other character, is the partner that you have do anything meaningful like this, or it's just completely... Uh, they, they, they also do things. I, I, I will show off what happens with Chris. Um, probably in a stream. Oh. Later. Right, let's say hello to the deer head. I have to say, so far, that was my favorite room in the entire game. Oh, you're gonna love an upcoming room, then, that we won't see for, like, four or five updates. Oh, you tease! I'm sorry. Yeah, and there's a first aid kit that contains a first aid spray, so... We're still not, uh, going short on healing items. <laughs> At this point, you probably could die, like, ten times and just be brought back to life every single time. Well, unfortunately, yeah, well, you could take a lot of punishment and just shove healing items in your throat. Yeah, yeah. you're just gonna, you're just gonna plug like a any an EV, and then it's just gonna be fed up to a huge supply of herbs. The deer is watching you, look, pig. Barry, I didn't mean to get you that excited. Right. Anyway, you should read this. <laughs> Don't flatter yourself, Jill. Come on. Yeah. Right, so we found a torn letter. Basically, a scientist having um, very bad thoughts about participating in a bad experiment and uh, say, apologizing to his wife. Although, I don't... or his wife or girlfriend or whatever. Maybe his sister, I'm not entirely sure. Well, I guess we were right about this mansion being quite unnatural. You have a way with understatements. Where's yeah. the part that's torn off? If you notice, Jill is not looking at the part that's torn off, because it's supposed to be the top of the letter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and also, if you really look at the the paper, the model of the paper, and earlier it's not actually torn off. Yeah. It's just a paper. They did it's kind of disappointing, because I mean there are actually parts of this game that are uh, very that are well thought of. Like it's just a little disappointing. That's that's one detail they didn't think of. I don't know. Yeah, I guess. Well, there's a puzzle in this room. Oh, you have to replace the bee with the lure of a bee or something. Yeah, no, you have to put the real bee in the real life specimen um, thing, and then the fish lure and the fishler thing, and that oh. solves the puzzle. Oh. Trouble, trouble solving! Yeah. And we get... a thing. Oh. Also, ah! Bees! Uh-oh. Oh, please tell me that's a real enemy. Oh my god. Yeah, it is an enemy, you have to fight it. <laughs> Alright, sh- <laughs> There we go. Why isn't there a fly it. swatter in this game? Why <laughs> you took damage we... out of that? Yeah, yeah, I took damage. I think that's, so far, that's the only enemy that gave me damage. So far. Uh, I don't know, maybe in the other update I think you took a hit or two or something. But... Well, I know the dogs attacked me, but that didn't do any damage. I don't remember. Also, Either interesting way. thing, um... We saw Barry, but if this this uh, room is completely optional, uh, that object we just got is 
for a bonus thing, we do not have to do this to finish the game. Uh, but if you come back to that, if you go to that room for the first time way later in the game, Barry will not be there. So that that little scene is something you can miss. Okay, so it's a good thing essentially that it doesn't really seem to be that important or anything. No, it's not that important, but it's. It, I think it's kind of neat that there's some scenes. There's other scenes that you can miss that I did miss actually, because I don't think you can. T uh, you can have every single scene with Barry in one playthrough. Like for example, I uh, remember the the grenade launcher, the the dead guy, Forrest. Yeah. Um, you can have a scene with Barry, but it requires you doing things in a completely different order. Uh, which would have been like way too long just for a scene where Barry goes, Oh no, Forrest is dead, bah. <laughs> I gotta say your impression of Forrest is dead on. Uh, of Barry. No, my, my impression of Forrest is... <laughs> <laughs> also, um, ready for another puzzle? There's uh, uh, four right. armors and a button in the middle. Also, I pressed the button to see what would happen if you don't solve the puzzle. And it's just gas. I, I was disappointed. I thought the armors would wake up and try to kill me. Yeah, that's kind of disappointing. No, it's just gas. Oh, that also did damage. I think I'm gonna take quite a beating of this episode if I remember. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so let's, far... let's, solve, let's solve the puzzle for real this time. So far, her biggest threats into the game. Bees and gas. Right, so the puzzle is you have to push all the armors back uh, to the wall, but when you push one, it activates another one, switches uh, okay. another one's position, and it's just... Really, the best way to solve this puzzle is just push armor until they're all pushed. There's, like, no real... Seriously, it's not very complicated. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even, like, try to remember which did what, I just pushed them randomly. And here we go, problem solve. Yeah. And what do you think we got? I hope it's another B. No, it's it's a it's a box. Oh. And there's a design of the sun and the moon, and the plate says sunshine will awaken me. So there's some symbols on the sun and the moon, and there's some switches all around the box. Oh, alright. So we activate those two. And we get a mask! Oh, hello. A mask of love. Um, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so our quest for the four masks is getting closer. I think we have two so far. Yes. If only there was some Zelda music to highlight the moment. Um, maybe I'll add that in post. <laughs> <laughs> you got a mask without any eyes or face. -na 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 -na. Richard! What happened? You're wounded. No shit, Jill. Great observation. This whole place is a killing zone. That's a great game. We should play that someday. Monsters. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm thinking of Killing Floor. Oh. Uh -oh. did this to you? A big snake, and it had to be poisonous. Poisonous? Richard, hold on. T big snakes are not usually poisonous, though. Serum. I saw some, but didn't bring any. I'll go and get it, okay? You're gonna make it. Like, usually, big snakes just try to squash you and then eat you whole. Small snakes are poisonous, I think, or venomous. Well, it's a zombie snake, all right, so that's poison, okay. too. Fine. So, here's an interesting little bit of gameplay. Uh, Richard is poisoned. We have to go back to the safe room to the other side of the mansion to get some serum, and then back to Richard. In about, I think we have, um, 15 minutes? It's pretty generous, but there is an actual time limit, and if you take too long, he will die. Oh. Uh -huh. So I think that's interesting. Yeah, that's a good bit of uh, optional content. Yeah, but really there's like no difficulty to it. The only difficulty is like if for, for some reason you're unable to read the map or you never killed all the zombies in the way. 
Yeah, I guess. I guess I could have cut that out too, but that wouldn't be true to the experience. I want to stick to all of my walking simulation. And I better get gun ready in order to walk into that empty room. Right, so the serum is right there. You can only pick it up in that little quest thing. Like, if you just look at it before, she just says, Oh, there's some uh, anti-venom stuff here. I'm sure I will never need it. <laughs> oh, crap, I got bitten. If only I picked this up. No! What, what, really, really, at this point, what, sh what she should have done is picked several bottles, not just one. <laughs> And I guess I just felt like uh, going outside on the way back, <laughs> instead of taking the other room. I don't know what I'm doing. I want to pay get some fresh to air. the dogs. Well, they're dead. Ah, oh, now I'm sad. Also, their 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 bodies have melted apparently, or evaporated. Yeah, it's just like in Alone in the Dark. It's like the moment that you look away, their bodies just become a huge bunch of bubbles that float in the air. Not the moment you look away, just the moment they're dead. Well, here they were sneaky dogs. Oh boy, will he still be alive? Here, Richard, <laughs> I don't know, what do you think? I'm gonna give you a shot. <laughs> Hang in there. Look, I'm a pro Resident Evil player. I can't not do well. <laughs> Take it. I'm. Ah, <sighs> uh, sorry. Does it ever not hurt? No, I'm afraid. Uh, injecting stuff in your arm never not hurt. All right, I know that you're really, really wounded, but I'm pretty sure you're not gonna have any inconvenient about me using all your healing items. It's not his, it was just there. We healed him anyway. He didn't need, like, herbs, he just needed serum. Well, I don't know, he probably could use a couple of herbs too, judging by his arm. Ah, it's fine. But he's losing all of his blood. Yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, hey, stealth zombie. Zombies have issues turning around. <laughs> yeah. They have troubles with, uh... Yeah, at least uh, you're not the only one that has to deal with tank controls. Yeah. <laughs> so this room is dumb. Um, because the very first times you're gonna play the game, you're not gonna know... You're not gonna have, like the lighter with you, but you need the lighter because this room is dark. Okay. It's, I think it's like one of the only room that does that in the entire game. And there's an there's an important key item in this room behind that uh, in that little room where the zombie was. Okay. But if you try to get it now, Jill is like, it's too dark. <laughs> so you have, you have you have to have the lighter, and you have to... Careful, zombie. There we go. And when you do that, the other zombie in the other room is like... Fire! No! Oh. <laughs> so it's like you needed that little oh. bit of light just in order to be able to... Alright. You know, these, these star members really need, like, lamps or, um... Flashlights or something, and I wasted both my batteries because I was a dummy about this. <laughs> Oh god, it's too bright! I cannot see the zombies anymore! It's... yeah, I'm gonna regret doing that later. Okay. Um... So let me so guess, I don't, we're gonna I have don't a ship you, to... I don't know if you noticed, but what we picked up was a music sheet for something. Uh, too bad we couldn't ask Richard to play the music for us. Um, so it's... It, Probably one of the weirdest puzzles. Okay. Well, I don't know. It, I mean, if I go with what I know about these kind of games, isn't that like a, 
a part where you just need to play the music which is there or something. I you'll see, I guess. Oh ho. Somehow I think I'll regret my question. <laughs> it it does involve playing music, yes. Okay, so I'm halfway right, but Alright, I guess I'll see. There's an emblem here. We could have taken it at any time, but it's only now that we need it. Uh -huh. Otherwise, it's just a waste of space. So, we just got this emblem by the fire. Would you say it's a fire emblem? No, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, ah, zombie, help! Oh, shit, no! Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, this is where I regret. I thought I had him, and then he just grabbed me again. He fooled me. <laughs> and if you notice, like a dumbass, I did not take a healing item, because I thought, ah, I got this. I'm too good to, do, to die to zombies. And the motherfucker did enough damage to put me in caution mode. If I get hurt one more time, I die. Oh. Right, and here is musical score for... Oh, okay, so now you complete the... Yeah, you the combine, because there are two parts for Moonline Sonata. Yay! Be because, um... Well, that's... That's a piece of music that everybody in the world probably knows. Yeah, pretty much. Thank God Jill knows how to play the piano. So, fun fact, um, when you're playing as Chris, Chris does not know how to play the piano. <laughs> so this puzzle is a little b bit more annoying to solve. Okay, so where do you find somebody in this mansion that knows how to play a piano? Well, you know what, we'll, we'll, I'll show that when I'll, pe when I'll be playing Chris. Oh, God. So yeah, you play the music and it opens a thing, so I guess someone made a convoluted mechanism that recognized the specific music to- I don't fucking know how this works. <laughs> and there's a journal. If I remember correctly, this is, um, the journal of a person. We're gonna find several journals from that person, because apparently he likes just spreading his crap around. <laughs> but if I remember correctly, this guy is the guy who designed the mansion. Uh -oh. And all the traps. And apparently he has trouble remembering what they are, so there must be, like, so many traps in this mansion. <laughs> Why did I put all of these traps? And there's a gold emblem. And when you take it, it uh, closes the door, so guess what we're gonna do? Oh, God. Replace it with a normal emblem. Ah, uh, okay. This is what the third time we had we had to do this. Yeah. <laughs> they say that the third time is always the best. Hey, hey, Jill, you got munched on your shoulder. Why are you holding your stomach? Uh, I'm hungry. <laughs> hungry for herbs. Oh. So yeah, I right, I wasn't revenge. fucking around, and I got lucky because that's a critical hit. So all in all, it ended pretty well. Yeah, pretty much. I was I wasn't gonna risk just uh, walking, trying to walk past this guy. All right, so we put back the emblem here, and it opens the grandfather clock. Oh, I thought for for a second that this time will just stop or something. So here's a pretty simple puzzle, and the solution of the puzzle is right next to it. There's two knights. Uh, one has a small sword in the other knight's chest, the one has a long sword in the other knight's head. Oh, so you so just have to match the the dials in order to... Uh, yes. Uh, the, the small sword is the, the small um, um, hand. The large sword is a large hand. It's just it is now armor o'clock. Figuring out which gear turns which. Oh. And we get a key! Yay! So, let me guess what it's going to be. We have... Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> it's a shield. It is, not, it is not the equivalent of the red key, as you might be thinking, because this key only opens one door. One specific door. 
Oh, uh -huh. as opposed to the last key, which opened something like five doors by now. Yeah, which is like like the equivalent of the, the yellow key because it opened a whole new section of the mansion. Okay, <laughs> uh, I'm not too sure how you're do doing basing your interpretation of colors, but all right. Well, you know, you you are the one who brought the whole doom key comparison <laughs> last time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> And so oh, maybe I should right, have Jill. edited me walking back to the safe room for medkits, but whatever. Okay. I was like, uh, Jill, you know there's still herbs in that room with the almost dead guy. I th no, I think I'll... Um, because we're gonna need guns where we're going. Bigger guns. Alright. So where we're going, we don't need roads, but we need guns. <laughs> Oh yeah, I cut, I cut something here because there was too much. Uh oh. I can you can hear it by the very unsubtle, um, sound cut. Okay. <laughs> and I did not at all try to hide. What are you thinking? Is this like the 2007 thread? I mean, this is pretty chill. I'm not really trying to do something <laughs> fancy. <laughs> Uh, that's okay. All right. And Wait, why? Why are you taking a pistol ammo? You don't need that. <laughs> there we go. Now you're just going to throw your charger at the zombie. Oh yeah, like Metal Gear. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, you've never played or watched a Metal Gear game. Uh, nope, never. I'm gonna put that on the list of stuff I have to show you. Oh God. <laughs> So, yeah, stay tuned for her next 20 LPs. <laughs> Maybe not the next one. Yeah. <laughs> I already have an idea for the next one, and it's not Metal Gear. Oh. Though it is a spooky game. I don't know, Metal Gear is pretty spooky. Uh, no, 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 it's not. Well, I mean it's spooky because I'm terrible at stealth games and therefore I never dare touch it with a 10-foot pole. Right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say hello to the big snake who is behind the, the shield door. Oh. Actually, it brings a question, how did Richard get there? He didn't yeah. have the shield key. <laughs> how did he even... I guess, I guess this brings up the question of um, if something... If there was a catastrophe that transformed everyone to zombies in this house, who went around and just took the time to lock every door and reset every trap? Oh god, yeah, that's a huge snake. Yeah, you can see that it's been uh, been uh, venomous. Uh. Jill, Jill, why are why are you staring at the snake? Jill, stop that. Why are you so, going back? Did you just? No, no, look. It's payback time, so see, if you don't uh, save Richard, he's dead and he doesn't help you. Oh. As it is, he's alive and he has infinite ammo, so we don't even need to shoot the snake, we can just wait for him to kill him. Okay, and... The, the snake is completely uninterested in Richard, he's just gonna try to kill us. Okay. And if you just, like, run around the snake, it... It's also hindered by tank controls, so the snake is not very good at hitting you. This snake looks really good. Well, for a game of that era, I mean. Although I got, I got kind of bored and shot a grenade at it. All right, no need to fight the other guy. I already fit in the hole. There we go. Richard finished it. Thanks. Or not? So yeah, Richard dies anyway, and you still have to fight the boss yourself. <laughs> so basically, saving him was entirely pointless. Okay. Actually, no, that's not true, because if you don't save him, you don't get... He doesn't give you his radio, and Jill... I don't think... I don't remember if she thinks of taking it or not. But also, saving him... Yes, I'm sure we won't um, be meeting that snake later on. 
<laughs> Absolutely not. But now we get his shotgun. Oh, an assault shotgun. Hello. Which holds ten shells. And I think might be more powerful. I think. Well, it do look more powerful for sure. I'm not sure if that's true. Okay, so one mask lift. Where could it be? Hmm. And for some reason there's a zombie here now. <laughs> yeah, you was just waiting for Richard to go away. Yeah, this one did die in one shot, so I think this shotgun is more powerful. Either that or you're really good shot. Well, I am. <laughs> and... So yeah, we got one more mask, and then we're gonna be able to see what's in that weird crypt. Uh, this video is a little bit longer than the previous ones because I just really wanted to finish up all the stuff here. And okay, I so okay, so this really is going... found a good stopping point before finishing that stuff. Okay, so essentially the rest of this video is like uh, all the mansion, or it's it's finishing up what's uh, in the mansion because we're gonna go out of the mansion soon. Oh. Also, I like how come they take the time to describe every single mask. Yeah. Mask without an eye, mask without a face, and mask without dignity. Well, <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't well, know. You, you need to know. You need to know which mask is which because you have to put them in the right place in the crypt. Oh. So this this a particular door. Uh, if you read the text, it says the doorknob is about to break. Uh, basically, that means you can open this door from this side uh, twice. Oh. If you do it. Um, I think it's twice, it might be three times, I don't quite remember, because I always try to avoid doing that. But if you, like, if you open this door too many times from this side, the doorknob breaks, and you cannot do it. You have to go around the mansion and other rooms, it's just kind of annoying. Okay, so... Can so you simply just leave the door open then? <laughs> no, that would be rude! <laughs> so here's a picture of a woman with a... Uh, a crown, a bracelet, and a necklace, all different colors, and a switch. All made in MS Paint. Yes, and there's a picture of someone with a bracelet, and there's a button that makes it green. That's not the color of the bracelet on the woman, so let's deactivate that. This guy has a necklace. Pressing the button makes it purple, so that's good. Okay, so you have to go to the portraits of the thing that the person wears in order to change the colors yeah. to match the portrait. And there is a button on each side and only one is good. Oh. Uh -huh. There we go, now it's orange. Now all the portraits are, are the right color and we can go to the woman's portrait. Uh oh. -huh. And puzzle solved. Woohoo! Oh. oh, here we go, last mask. Yep. And very conveniently, this door leads right. Oh, it leads right to the place where we have to go. Yep. Also, for some reason, the zombies, the two zombies that were there earlier, are not there anymore. Well, I guess that's just convenience. But since this door's open by a lockpick, couldn't you simply open that door from outside using the lockpick and skip all of this, or...? I th no, 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 uh, most certainly not. I'm fairly sure it's, it's... On the other side, it's just you can't access the lock even though it's a grid. Don't ask me how this works, Psych, okay, <laughs> please? <laughs> look, look, this mansion was designed with puzzles for us to solve, it would be rude not to solve them and just, like, go around them. It's... Yeah, but if you just badly design your haunted house, you deserve to be cheated out of your enjoyment. Uh, whatever. <laughs> Alright, so are you ready for, um... The, the most difficult boss fight in the entire game? So, are we going to fight a vampire, or what? 
Yes, we're going to fight Dracula. All right. So he has really ugly toes. Well, he hasn't taken a shower in four, 500 years. <laughs> That's it. I lied, this is the easiest <laughs> fight in the entire game. Well, I don't know. It's, it was somehow fast. Like, the snake fight is harder because it can actually... The snake can actually attack you if you're not careful. Actually, I forgot to mention something about the snake. Um, if the snake ever uh, hurts you during the fight, you get poisoned. And you get to run back to the room with all the serum. Oh. Before you die. Uh, I avoided doing that because that's just um, time wasted. <laughs> so, so why am I playing as Jill? Because I cannot nope. waste time. We don't need to go back there. I have a door that goes back exactly where you want to go, Jill. <laughs> this is me realizing, wait a minute, I opened the shortcut. Also, the crows will attack you if you try to shoot them, so, like, don't. Why would you want to shoot crows, anyway? You know, I don't know, but I remember doing that the very first time I played the game, so I guess I was a jerk <laughs> when, I, when I was a kid. I around. Kill, there please we go. don't shoot the crows, thank you. You know, the only reason that the zombies are threatening in this game is because half of them are in tiny corridors. If they're just in large rooms, they, they pose no threat. Yeah. Also, oh. dog. Oh, no. Oh. Ouch. And I don't have a knife or a defense item. But somehow, he still did not do any damage. Yeah. So, yeah, the dogs, are, the dogs are really bad at this. <laughs> like, they're worse than the zombie. You'd think a dog would be more dangerous than just... An undead man who walks really slowly, but no. They're like the the weakest enemy in the entire game. Yeah, if anything, I expected pretty much the opposite. That's weird. Uh, so yeah, everything we did in the mansion basically led to getting this little emblem that unlocks this door. Oh. Uh -huh. Also, I'm probably not going to use the pistol much more, because then, after that, the game doesn't, like, throw a thousand uh, shotgun shells, but throws enough. Okay, so essentially, at this point, the pistol is pretty much worthless. Well, it's just not necessary. It's just annoying, because, like, I can still kill zombies with it if I really want to, but I might as well just use a shotgun, it goes faster. So here's another puzzle, it's kind of annoying. Um, there's signposts with directions and they have names. Like Valley of Destruction or Cave of Hatred and etc, etc. <laughs> it's very colorful. And I press the button too many times. Mommy, can we go to the Pet of Revenge? Barry? Wait, Barry, you have a radio. Wait, am I the only one who doesn't have a radio in this team? I guess so. This is great. Let's not have let's not equip everyone properly for communication. Also, Barry told us to not go to the to the forest. Guess guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna go to the forest! Exactly. Alright. So here's the puzzle. There's two statues of um what's the name of that stupid dog? Uh, Three headed dog. Oh, they uh, have Cerberus? Yeah, Cerberus. Um, one of them has red eyes, one of them has blue eyes, and they both ask to go in a specific direction. Like, I don't... You know, they don't say north, they just says pass of, path of... I don't remember what. Uh-oh. And so there's those things that you stop them in the right direction and turns the statue. Although the way I remember how to do this is just basically they have to be facing away from each other. Uh-huh. 
that's how I remember it. Instead of trying to remember the names of the direction corresponding to... Whatever. And there we go. Door unlocked. And the door managed to be opened by the power of two three-headed dog spots. I'll say I don't really mind all these puzzles. They, they, it's just that they're kind of weird in the setting. They don't really make sense. Yeah, but I don't know. At least it's still better than the... Uh, oh, pick this item, but replace it with the other item. <laughs> oh, you're, you're gonna love next update. Oh, my God. <laughs> Next update is Resident Evil Puzzle that AVI. Oh my god. <laughs> oh boy, that's a nice sound. There's a spooky ghost. Well, the forest do look a, a bit spooky, however. Yeah. It's also kind of weird to navigate the very first time because it it feels a little like you're going in circles yeah okay <laughs> hello camera. the camera angles are not helping yeah <laughs> <laughs> and here we've reached the cut age of the forest where there's a fire someone has been here Recently. Oh. oh. And we get. Oh, it's essentially a safe room then. Yeah, it's a safe room. It's totally safe. Oh. <laughs> and here's what seems to be the journal of a little girl. I guess that's what they're going for, like childish. Handwriting, except they're using like typed letter for it because they yeah. don't. It's, they don't have a very flexible font. They couldn't yeah. like replace it to a different font, I guess. And out of this box, we're gonna take our teleported um, wind emblem. <laughs> I think. Yeah, wind crust. There we wind go. Because we need that for some reason. Oh. I'm pretty psychic about things. <laughs> I'm also a crank. It's just a crank. It's just your standard, usual crank. So I hope that Jill is not feeling too cranky today. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, game over. LP over. <laughs> 